spend in a miserable way. Local leaders want action, you not just words you from the Cubs in response to Joe Ricketts and oppose. Ah. Ahmed Rehab, Executive Director of the Chicago Chapter of the Council on American-Islamic Relations, spoke at a news conference Tuesday air regarding emails that showed Joe Ricketts sharing and endorsing racist and Islamophobic language, jokes and conspiracy theories. Mark Gonzalez, Ahmed Rehab, Executive Director of the Chicago Chapter of the Council on American-Islamic Relations, spoke at a news conference Tuesday air regarding emails that showed Joe Ricketts sharing and endorsing racist and Islamophobic language, jokes and conspiracy theories. Mark Gonzalez, an apology won't be enough for Muslim leaders in Chicago should they get their wish to meet as soon as next week with Chairman Tom Ricketts after the publication of racist and Islamophobic emails connected to family patriarch Joe Ricketts. The elder Ricketts, 77, and his son Tom issued separate statements Monday after Splinter News composted emails that showed Joe Ricketts sharing and endorsing racist and Islamophobic language, jokes and conspiracy theories. Ahmed Rehab, Executive Director of the Chicago Chapter of the Council on American-Islamic Relations Care, said Tuesday at a news conference that its good emails were published. It's important to note that had these emails not been leaked, where would we be now? Rehab said. And so it's good that they've been leaked. But the question is, Rehab said there were no plans to boycott the Cubs at this time. We're calling for a conversation and ways to move forward. Chairman had the media in stitches three years ago when he was asked to respond to a provocative tweet by then presidential candidate. It's a little surreal when Donald Trump threatens your mom, Ricketts crap. It was in 2016, back when few believed. Rehab added that Tom Ricketts and Julian Green, the Cubs' vice president of communications, reached out less than 24 hours after the emails were posted. Joe Ricketts apologized in his statement, saying, in part, I have said things that will reflect my value system. I strongly believe Tom Ricketts' statement emphasized that his father is not involved in the operations of the Cubs. His statement includes that several leaders expressed their dismay and the need for the Cubs' organization to respond with more than just a statement. Many members of our community are not too impressed by simple we're sorry the emails were leaked, said Rehab, adding that his office was flooded with phone calls and emails as people expressed dismay. I think there might, if that is the case, then we can move forward to put forth concrete steps in order to ensure the trust of the community and the other communities affected, and the Cubs brand can reclaim that trust. Some of the trust, however, wavered immediately. Muhammad Akbar, Research Director for Care, vividly remembers taking the bus from Lane Tech to Wrigley Field against the wishes of some of his friends who were White Sox fans. After learning of Asha Beck, a care communications coordinator who described herself as a black Muslim woman who grew up in Chicago as a Cubs fan and would often attend games to celebrate special events such as her birthday, said, I am a bit heartbroken. I would like to see some reconciliation, some truth the Cubs slogan really is everybody in, that they are inclusive, that they want their fans there, no matter where they come from, no matter what they believe in, by Vexus. Abdullah Mitchell, Executive Director of the Council of Islamic Organizations of Greater Chicago, said it was hurtful to have to address the views and language espoused in the emails in this era. There must be affirmative steps to demonstrate by all community members you particularly by the Cubs organization you that this is not behavior that is accepted, tolerated, and it must be fought by all citizens of the Greater Chicago Lab community, Mitchell said. Cubs fan Rim Shigeru expressed her disappointment in a letter she sent to Cubs fan services and later tweeted. Shigeru, 24, a fundraiser at Northwestern, wrote, as a young Muslim woman of Kola who spends three hours a day, 162 days a year supporting a team that brings me immense joy, it is disheartening to see that the organization is neglecting a growing subset of their fan base. 
Gaira suggested the Cubs should establish an appreciation night for fans like herself. It's not crazy to want something like an acknowledgement, Gaira said. If you can have a start, the Mets have hosted such a night at City Field, and she said it provides Muslim Americans a sense of inclusion that most baseball fans take for granted. I have never had an opportunity to have a Chicago hot dog at Wrigley Field because they are not halal, said Gaira, referring to the practice of preparing food according to the dietary standards of Islamic law. Just to get that experience before Tuesday's news conference, Mayor Ram Emanuel, who has had issues with Joe Ricketts over the years, issued a statement blasting the patriarch. Joe Ricketts once said that I do not share his values, Emanuel wrote. True words were never. Major League Baseball also expressed its dismay with the content of the email. We are aware of the email exchanges involving Joe Ricketts, MLB's statement reads. While many of the email Chicago Tribune's Phil Thompson contributed. Twitter at MD Gonzalez. To get unlimited access to all our Cubs coverage. It's just 90. An apology won't be enough for Muslim leaders in Chicago should they get their wish to meet as soon as next week with Cubs chairman Tom Ricketts after the publication of racist and Islamophobic emails connected to family patriarch Joe Ricketts. The elder Ricketts. 77, and his son Tom issued separate.